Hello, and let's get ready to blast off with Galactic Gamers. Hello again. This is my first ever Let's Play, and it's going to be, oh, well, I hope, a complete playthrough of a PS2 game, Dot Hack Infection. Now, before we begin this episode, I just want to apologise for several things. Firstly, I do not yet have a pop filter. So any S's or P noises I make are probably going to be so excruciatingly horrible you'll want to rip off your own ears and eat them. And for that, I am sorry. Um, secondly, I am recording this at 10 o'clock at night. Actually, 20 past 10 o'clock at night. So it's probably going to come out as complete drivel. But with that aside, yeah. Um, what is Dot Hack? Well... The best way to explain it would be as a kind of multimedia series consisting of um, manga, the anime, and of course the games, because, um, you know, we're, we're playing one of the games, that um, all contribute to an overall storyline. And everything describes the strange things that occur within this game. Actually, I'm about to burp, but I can cut this later. Oh. Thank you. The strange things that happen in a game known as The World, which is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. And in this world, if I can remember correctly, it's been ages since I've watched any of the anime or played any of the games, but it comes free with the operating system, which is known as Ultima, I believe. And yeah, you know, um, obviously that's the main selling point for the operating system. It doesn't matter how good it is. There's no competitors like Macintosh or Linux or, you know, um, Windows. Um, there's, no, it just doesn't... Free RPG, what the hell? Install it. But um, it turns out this RPG puts people in coma, so it's not such a good thing overall. And that is literally pretty much what I know. I am a big fan of Dot Hack, but I have only watched Dot Hack Sign, and I have watched that about three times, but a long time ago, so I'm probably a bit fudgy on the details. Anyway, so I keep blabbing. Before I begin, this game is kind of a sequel, actually, you know, it is a sequel to Dot Hack Sign, and um, whilst it might help to know what happens in Dot Hack Sign, it isn't necessary. It doesn't really make sense in the anime by the end of it. It doesn't really make sense in the game. I don't know what's going on. I, I've never fully completed this game, which, you know, makes coming back and completing it now really quite interesting. So, um, yeah. Now, you know, I wouldn't say this is one of the best games, but it is one of my favourite. Um, I'm quite nostalgic about it. I think there's, there's quite a nice atmosphere to this game, and... Um, I love the idea of randomly generating the levels within the game. So yeah, uh, more stuff about the series. There are four of them. Um, one's called Infection. Actually, that reminds me. So I'm also a bit bunged up. So you could say I have an infection of my own, which is not... Oh, that sounds bad. I mean, I have a cold virus. Brilliant, brilliant starting. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> and another one's called Quarantine, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. But... You know, if this series goes well, then I, I might plan to do all four of them eventually. I love Dot Hack, so yeah. Um, I think that's enough blabbering. I think you kind of get the idea. Blur, it's a virtual world, blur, mysterious things, Japanese makes no sense. Let's begin. Yes. Oh, yeah, and um, I've lost a memory card that has space on it, but I've also, I also lost the game and the cables of the PS2, and I had to spend ages searching for them, so I am not searching for the memory card. I'm just playing the first bit without the memory card. Why am I talking so much now? Because I won't get a chance in a minute. There'll be a tutorial, there'll be an opening video, and I won't be able to speak any, here we go. I won't be able to speak anymore. So let's watch this in peace. So, um, <clears throat> some murmuring, very creepy. Some purple clouds, some programming. Some nice hexagons. That's brilliant. And, um, yeah, that's uh, one of your main... I think that's one of your main moves from it, just kind of awesome. Oh, extremely pretty music. That's, that's very nice. There's aura there, I think. And um, the monster from the end of sign. So that would you know, probably be the benefit of watching it. I lied, I'm talking loads. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, right. Hmm. 
So yeah, I could probably skip this, but... What the hell, let's leave it in. Okay. Oh yeah, to mention that as well, it has some very nice real-time combat in this game. Um, it's, it's quite a lot of fun. Yeah, so, you know. But yeah, um, I always wanted to do, well, I've recently wanted to do a Let's Play on the PlayStation 2 because, of course, it's what I grew up with. I'm very nostalgic about it. But of course, I'm also very nostalgic about this game as well. And since, as I said earlier, I've never completed it. You know, this is perfect for a Let's Play. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I've been getting feedback from the headphones. I haven't quite got the levels figured out yet. Ah. Alright. Well, we're not really going to load any data because I don't have any. So, let's begin. Okay, I'm going to have to shut up now. Just let you listen to this. Yeah, I have no idea either. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Habedrachen ist noch nie zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis. I didn't want to read this out or not. I, I guess not, because she's kind of reading it out. König des Lichts grüßt sie. Kind of. Sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Yeah. Fight that abominable wave. Seriously, I don't remember much about the series, but. Hmm. Very nice. Kind of sinister. Probably foreshadowing something? Ah, some programming. Of course. Okay, this is probably okay. one. Now for a name. Oh dear. That voice. No, never mind. Already there waiting for me. <sighs> I better hurry. <clears throat> Ah, here we go, username. Well, let's be really unconventional here. Not unconventional, sorry. The exact opposite, let's be really boring here. And let's call it... Galactic Gamer. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I can come up with. It's 10 at night, okay? You can't expect much creativity from me. Right. Yep, this is exciting. Um, I'm taking... Ages to fill us in. Ah. Classic gamer, there we go. Enter. We'll keep it as Kai because it just, you know. Yeah. We'll do. Um, yeah. Ah, this is my favourite thing about the game. <laughs> this is brilliant. You see, they have a virtual desktop as part of the game. So, to get this straight, this is a game that has, you know, that pretends to be a desktop computer that then pr then runs another game inside it. So, this, oh yeah. So you're playing a game, pretending to play a game, basically, whilst you pretend to also run a computer, pretending to log in and play the game. Enough of that. You can see you have quite a lot of items here, all very interesting. You can um. I think you change the desktop background, you've got mail, you've got news, um, yeah, but, you know, we'll have a look at these later. Um, to be fair, it all looks pretty awesome, I love the little shifting logo at the right and the 3D flashing icons, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, well, really, I've been delaying it so much, um, let's begin. Let's enter the world. I'll check my email first. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to check the email. Brilliant. That wasn't embarrassing. Um, version. Right. Okay, I've updated the game apparently. Uh, they wanted to thank me for registering. That's um, cool. And, um, okay. Who is the kind of character are you? 
Oh, and like I said at school, you'll regret it if you use a smart-ass name. I'm Orca in the world, so keep that in mind. Don't call me by my real name. <sighs> you can be a different person when you're there. One more like the guy you want to be. Anyway, I'll be at Root Town. So what that was, but cool. Yeah, so your friend wants to meet you, and he seems kind of gruff and grumpy. Let's let us enter. Here goes for in the world, and yeah. I have to say one more thing. This game also comes with a DVD, so you play the game to investigate the world and watch the DVD to watch people investigating the world. So in other words, this is a game pretending to be a computer, which is pretending to run a game, which is then pretending to be broken and have weird glitches. Meanwhile, there's also a DVD pretending to be the real world with people trying to hack into, I think, the pretend game, which also has the pretend glitches. We're all okay with all that, let's log in. Actually, let's check the board first. Um, oh, blah, 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 blah. Let's log in. Wow, I think I've, hmm. I've spent 13 minutes logging, oh my. Okay, it, it will speed up a bit beyond, oh dear. Okay, so yeah. This is kind of a hub world where you, you know, you can enter these randomly generated levels. Hey, and, uh, you made it. Yeah. Wow, my voice acting is better than hers. Uh. Oh. Hey, yeah. it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Wow. Yeah. You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Uh. Nothing like the real you. Well, I'm kind of glad. If he dressed like that in real life, he would get arrested. Hey, you know. In this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. Okay, he has issues. He's trying to hide things about his life. No, um, I didn't say anything. Ah, I love a smiley emoticon. Anyway, That's cool. This. Yeah, um, cool. The okay. You can only access in the the way he's swaggering is kind of creepy. He looks very drunk. You can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used okay, by cool. newbies to contact other players to form a party. Well, since I'm not a noob, I wouldn't do I that. Am. You know, me I'm an elite player. Mm, okay. Yep, so this is all the excitement of tutorials. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, this is a disappointing first episode. <laughs> Sorry about all this. Okay, party. At Orca. So I guess, you know, these are the people who are going to come out and fight with you. Which is um, very useful. So, yeah. Press the yeah. X button twice to send a flash <laughs> That's pretty mail. sad. I will though. There we go. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. Wait, we we oh ha ha! I thought you meant in the real world. That that'd be kind of creepy if you were just sitting there staring into each other's eyes whilst you played. Uh, I got that wrong. So hopefully you'll actually see screen. some stuff happen in, in the first episode. <laughs> oh dear. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Oh, we can't contact in a town. people when they're not logged into the world. Uh, to the world. Okay, I'll stop being sarcastic. But it's just people I don't know what else to do. You know. We're not online 24-7. In other words, you oh, can't always count kind on of the are. same members to form a party. So, try to get okay, as many member addresses cool. as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, now your play is up to you. Uh, EXP and stuff isn't please stop talking. You really don't benefit. <laughs> Cheeky wink. Okay. okay, come on, Orca. Well, why don't we head off? Yep, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I found a perfect place for newbies. 
And by that I mean I'm going to ambush you. I'm going to take you to a high level area and watch you die. Sort of transfer device that takes oh, us maybe I should just start skipping his speeches and just give you the sort of now, overall the world, thingy of it. Each play zone is called mm. an area, determined by so a yeah, combination of three keywords. Okay, so these were the, you know, the random worlds I was talking about earlier. Actually, this reminds me. Don't talk over me, Orca. Um, if you look at the DVD that comes with the game, um, there were some hidden keywords in there, and I'll be interested to try them later. I can't remember if they're actually crucial areas in the game, or, you know, whether they're actually bonuses, but I will give them a go. This is the keyword um, anyway. At the top is the entry place. Yep. You put the three selected keywords one by one. Left of um, the other, you can collect Okay, I think I can start skipping this now, sort of stuff. Let's yep. enter some keywords. Select mm. bursting. Good. For the last Passed over Aquafield. Brilliant. Um, it's this flashing jewel switch. I don't know what that means. Um, in fact, there's structures in area level and monsters and items. And it's a field type? Oh, one more thing. Yes. You see the symbol on the left next to the... That's the server symbol. It That's the server which symbol. Server you are currently this symbol is Delta, so we're logged on. Okay. The list on the bottom right is the area... See the jewel next to the field... That is. Oh, my... The keyword affects the status. For example... I guess this is kind of interesting. Type. See the jewel on the right... Um, yes, I think I do. Is being determined by Aquafield, the keyword in C. Okay, we don't know all right. What kind of field the current keyword will create until we, but once we learn the effect of that keyword, I say, combine it with that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so each column is a different word. Um. Anyway, what I was mentioning, um, was in the anime. At one point, there are three books stacked on top. Of that uh, came with the game. There are three books stacked on top of each other, and in each spine there is a word, and it's obviously the keywords for an area. So that's interesting. And a subtitles glitch at one point as well, and um, gives you another set of free keywords. So I, I will try this out at some point. Just an interesting bonus, I guess. For more okay. details, check out the board on your own time. All right, <laughs> let's get going to the Delta bursting past over Aqua. Well, I will, but I won't. I won't show you where. You, you don't need to see me read through the board. I mean, this has been boring enough. I, whoa, what? Okay, the curse has gone crazy. Whoa! My god, what's happening? Okay, um. 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 Thank you. I have no idea what that was about. I haven't played PS2 for so long, I probably hit something. Bursting passed over Aquafield. You'd think the words Aquafield would make it a watery field, but no, it's a kind of a grassy field. It's just, I always find it a little bit Before odd, but. Let I me guess. explain to you about the camera nah. control. Dirt. No, I don't. I'll explain more. Based yep, please don't explain more later. We'll be dead before you know it. First, okay, cool. Rotate the camera. First, rotate the camera. Push, push even the L1 button, the R1 button to move the camera. Yay, spinning camera. Woo! Woo! Hey, woo! Hey, woo! Okay. Next, let's zoom in. You can zoom Ooh, the exciting concepts. By using the right analog yeah. stick. By the way, I really do like this game. I'm just being sarcastic because I hate tutorials. <laughs> and that's all it is. Finally, you reset the camera by pushing the R2 button. And there we go. There you go. I actually Remember, forgot everything he just said. Starts. My god. Oh okay. dear. And this is the field. It's the lowest level in the area. Well, I was, I was planning for. The town, press the triangle oh, well, God. Press the combination. Okay. For example, go slide and it's raining. But there will be a water element stage. The elements also affect the type of monsters that appear. Why does he keep stop talking? What? He just stopped talking. That's kind of weird. Combine words to get different elements. Now. You see the... 
in the Okay, cool, the dungeon. Basically. An enemy. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm the fairies. Ah, yes. Yellow areas on the map show magic. Very helpful item. Where you encounter monsters and treasures. Oh, I forgot all about the magic magic portals, despite the fact I'm right in front all of right. one. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Yes, let's fight. I'm ready for some action now. Um. Okay. So, do I get to control it? Yes. Shut up. Shut up. You want to kill me? Yay! Well, wow, that, that that goblin just doesn't want to live. It's just like, yeah, okay, I I I wanted to die anyway. So brilliant. Wow, I have to use skills. I thought I had to just hit X. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. Choose rep from the list. When the target okay. cursor appears, select the target. Uh, you can target a party. It sure is pretty easy. Plus skills. Using a <sighs> Sorry, I'm skipping Orcus dialogue. It well, just. You must be sick of me at this point. It's just a bit much, you know. It's turn to tell me what to do by using chat commands. Actually, at least he acknowledges it. You're right, I am sick of you. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just okay. uh, fitting a computer now. I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal. Okay, then. Press the square button Actually, he's still telling me what to do. Next. Hmm, first aid. I'm picky, am I? Really? Well, it's good to be well, that's boss, nice. Isn't it? If you use when you okay, brilliant. That's it. For mm -hmm. when you yes, I'm ready to stop playing. Twenty-five minutes in, I am ready to begin. Okay. Um, right, let's do some fighting. Should just check her. Yep, that's how you do it. Fantastic. Well, let us try. Let us try. Um. A sabre dance. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that that was real overkill, then, wasn't it? Um, but brilliant. Okay. Let's just do some X hitting there. Okay, Orca just kills everything for me. So, thank you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now we need to talk to the magical talking raindrop, teardrop, weapon exchanging creature thing. This spring has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon. What's going to be a do now? Um. Okay, sure. Oh, we have nothing to throw in. I'm going to throw myself in. Um. But yeah. Uh. The reason I was very vague on dot hack sign earlier is. I don't want to ruin anything about it. I, it really is a good series. Um, I would, you know, recommend going out and watching it. Um, it's very weird, though. It, it has a magical cat of a wizard hat whose gender I can't work out. It has uh, an evil... No, not evil, but well, vaguely evil doorknob-shaped uh, door liquid gel danger. guardian thing. It's a weird game. Oh. A weird game, anime. But it's a weird... <clears throat> whatever. Weird anime. But it, it is brilliant. And it has some really good Return music. The yeah. the um, okay. No, Karina can walk me out of a dungeon. Is it? Really? Yes, I did know that right. Oh, okay. Oh, you ruined my joke. Okay, you ruined my joke. This one's normal. I don't like you for that. I have Resurrect. That sounds good. I like that. That this seems useful. Cool. Ooh. And let's, let's try to... Oh, I was going to open it and see what happened. Okay, that's cool. Ah, I remember the Hanged Man. I remember he had these cards you could use as... Um, <clears throat> ways to kind of use skills, didn't you, about actually having them. I have about four minutes left. I'm going to try and make the most of this. Okay. Ah, here we go. 
Ah, uh, sorry, I should stop anticipating things. I'm ruining it. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? Hmm... Well, let us proceed. I'm gonna have to be quick now. I have wasted so... Well, Orca has also, along with me, wasted so much time. Don't try too hard... Um, thank you? I'm not gonna try too hard. Ooh, maybe she turned into a treasure chest with a speech charm inside. Um, okay, back into the corridor again. And back the other way. Yep. Yeah, I'm walking down a corridor. <laughs> Isn't the world fun? Um, no, it really is a good game. It's just, you taught me non-stop and then I walked down a corridor. Oh, and the game, something freaky happened that, you know, in the dungeon, there are rooms with traps. Everywhere. I don't think Kite would find it fun yet. The only way to get out. Oh. Uh huh. Now nah, I'm gonna stay in this room forever. No, don't. <sighs> Stopping me from looking awesome, Orca. Right, here we go. Um, another corridor. Hmm, very uh, corridor -y dungeon. And, oh, uh, uh, this isn't a T junction, is it? It's a plus junction. It's it's a junction. It's a junk. Whatever, it's a junk. Mm! I, don't, I don't even know what's happening to me anymore. I'm just going to, um, ah, some more fights. Brilliant. Let me kill it. 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 Thank you. Ooh, I've been poisoned. Ow. Operation Wonder Battle. Cool, I haven't got it. Um, ow, I'm poisoned. Um, first aid? Oh, that is awesome. Okay. I have Resurrect again. That's brilliant. I'm sure that'll help Orca when he's in trouble. Hint, hint. Okay, um, yeah. That was sarcasm, so I actually was hinting at the opposite of what I just said. I know, I make no sense. Okay. Blah, 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 okay, it's dead. Is that amazing? It just dies before I even start to fight it. Ooh, healing potion. Ooh, another treasure chest. For death. Okay. Um, so I'm going back again. And through here, which I did have a feeling was uh, where I was this meant to go. Aha! Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, so that sure is enough adventure. Oh, four, five minutes of adventure. It's just too much. Yep, yeah, let's get that treasure chest. Steel blades. Hmm. Ow, I have a headache. I think it's because I've been talking so loudly. Ow. Mm, yellow candy. That's cool, let's go. I'm sure nothing will attack us on our way out. I'm sure we're perfectly safe. Off we go. Oh no. What's this? A cutscene? Okay. Hmm. Oh, the music. Or, was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. I have a very English accent. The power it holds can bring forth either. Well, her lips move. Oh, that's awesome. Destruction at the whim of the user. Your. I wish oh, his animations aren't in the coming. game. That's so cool. Um, could you teleport me back to the dungeon? 
That would be nice. Oh, that's an awesome looking monster. It'll kill you. What the hell? What is this? I love that symbol it holds, the kind of blade thing. So cool. Um... Awesomest death ever. Seriously, love this monster. <laughs> See how cool was all that random madness that just happened? This is why I like Dot Hack. <clears throat> that isn't a game, by the way. If you haven't figured it out and you thought YouTube broke down or something, no, that, that was the game. Oh, this, is, this episode's been 13 minutes longer than I intended. But, you know. I, oh, awesome. Haha. <laughs> Ha, Helga. I think it's Helga. Oh, we're going to kill me if I'm wrong. I just remember us hacking Boo Blade. What was wrong with Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? Because he got attacked by a strange monster and died? I wanted to ask him. Oh. Uh... He wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then... The next day... I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week, and he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. <laughs> well, there we go. That about rounds up the first Let's Play session. Um, sorry that went on for so long and sorry it was boring for 75% of it. You know, tutorials and everything. But, um, yeah, that was the first episode. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, you know, uh, join my personal armada of Rocketeers, that would be brilliant. That would be really brilliant, in fact. But, um, yeah, okay. You know, no pressure. I'm not going to try and force you to subscribe. I'm not going to kill you or anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's the first episode. And get ready for more, you know, dungeon crawling and random craziness and probably fiddling around on the desktop because that desktop is awesome and with that goodbye um oh dear no no why can't i just slide along a giant piano in peace i'm gonna take it out and bath oh, i missed <laughs> 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 I was using your screen to see where I was. I mean, <laughs> it's called cheating.